Hello and welcome to the Wednesday, February 15th, 2023 edition of the Sands and its Storm Center's Stormcast. My name is Johannes Ulrich and today I'm recording from Jacksonville, Florida. It's Microsoft Patch Tuesday and well, we got a sort of interesting Patch Tuesday today. 80 patches is what I counted or 80 vulnerabilities being patched. Now, this includes the Chromium vulnerabilities that affect Microsoft Edge. You may see some different numbers always being quoted here for the number of vulnerabilities and that's sort of one of the variables. Nine of the vulnerabilities were rated as critical by Microsoft and three vulnerabilities are already being exploited, but they are all rated important. First, uh, we do have CVE 2023-21715. That is a Microsoft Publisher a bug. And the basic problem here is that macros may be executed even though they're not supposed to be executed based on the stricter policies that Microsoft has recently established. The second already exploited vulnerability is CVE 2023-23376. That's a Windows Common Log a File System Driver Elevation of Privilege a Vulnerability. And then we have the third one, that's CVE 2023-21823. Now, this is uh, one of those uh, Windows Graphics uh, Component Remote Code Execution Vulnerabilities. The problem with this one is that uh, this is sort of affecting also software written for Windows and the patch actually uh, comes via the Microsoft Store. So make sure you have uh, those updates enabled so they're not part of your standard uh, patch set that you may download from uh, Microsoft uh, directly. There are uh, two vulnerabilities that I think are kind of also interesting. They both have a high CVSS score in the sort of high nines. CVE 2023-21803. This is a Windows iSCSI discovery service remote code execution vulnerability. Now iSCSI is something that you typically only use sort of inside your network. Don't really see any reason why you would ever expose this. Uh, It doesn't necessarily mean that people don't do it. But uh, this sort of makes it a great sort of lateral movement of vulnerability. And then the one that I'm probably most concerned about is CVE 2023-21716. This is a Microsoft Word remote code execution vulnerability. Now, usually if you have to open a document in Word, it's not rated critical. This is rated critical CSS score of 9.8, which means that you don't have to open the actual document. Apparently, uh, one way how you could exploit this vulnerability is uh, just via the preview pane in Outlook and such. Uh, It uh, affects RTF uh, documents. We have uh, seen this a few times before. So, um, Definitely something that I would watch out for. We'll uh, see if there's an exploit uh, coming out for it. At this point, no exploit yet. Also sort of interesting, uh, we have a number of vulnerabilities in Visual Studio. Some of them are critical. This is one of those things that's often overlooked, uh, but I do sort of think that we have sort of an, an uptick at least in attacks against developers and vulnerabilities in Visual Studio certainly uh, would be great if you are after attacking uh, developers. That's sort of the quick summary here. As usual, apply the patches. Uh, nothing that I would sort of uh, give extra priority here. Go through your uh, normal uh, patch handling procedure uh, for uh, these vulnerabilities. And also of interest, uh, today's update to uh, Microsoft Edge uh, will disable Internet Explorer now support and security updates for Internet Explorer have ended uh, in June last year. I don't think it ever really shipped with uh, Windows 11, but certainly did ship with Windows 10, uh, even though Edge uh, tended to be the primary browser there. We also got uh, patches from Adobe for Adobe After Effects, uh, Connect FrameMaker, Bridge, uh, Photoshop, InDesign, uh, Premiere Rush, Animate, and Substance 3D Stager. Nothing outrageous here. Again, apply as the patches become available to you and uh, follow your standard uh, patch process. 
Intel released uh, patches for 30 uh, vulnerabilities uh, today. Uh, also, nothing really outrageous here. A bunch of uh, privilege escalation vulnerabilities, in particular sort of in installer software, but also in some uh, network card uh, management tools and, and drivers, uh, which are sort of typical uh, vulnerabilities that you find in tools like that because they always have to run with elevated privileges and then you know, may be able to be tricked into executing additional code. It's difficult uh, to link uh, to all of them. I will link to an advisory regarding uh, some uh, baseboard management controller vulnerabilities that were also uh, patched uh, by Intel uh, today. Probably some of the uh, more interesting uh, vulnerabilities here and they all affect the open uh, BMC. Well, that's uh, for it today. Thanks for listening and uh, talk to you again tomorrow, hopefully with less vulnerabilities and uh, more other fun stuff uh, to talk about. If you like the podcast as usual, please subscribe and well, uh, tell everybody about it. Thanks and talk to you again tomorrow. Bye.